not all businesses need to be registered for GST. So if your turnover or your income is more than $75,000, then you are required to be registered for GST. If that's the case, then you'll be lodging a business activity statement or a BAS every quarter or every month, depending on how you've registered. If you are registered for GST, then there's a couple of things you need to know in relation to um, selling things in your business. So you might know that when selling your ordinary everyday things within your business, you sell them with GST. However, not all businesses have a GST requirement and there's a few exceptions to the rule. And these exceptions to the rule have been around since the year 2000 when the legislation came in and then there's been small tweaks along the way. A couple of things that are not GST include medical, expenses or health expenses uh, income. Um, so if you're providing health services to your customers, then there may be a requirement that you're not allowed to charge GST for those things. So please be on top of the resources around whether you are or aren't required and there's specific criteria to that. So um, please check it out and make sure that if you're in that health industry, you are charging the right of GST Yes, you're charging GST if you have to, but not charging GST if you don't have to. Um, the other one is when it comes to um, selling things, grocery type items. So some of the grocery items do have GST and some of them don't. And a couple of examples include fresh fruit and veggies, water um, and things that you use to then make something else. So things like ingredients for baking cakes and things like that are all GST free. Now this not, might not be your um, what you're selling in your business, but it might be things that you're buying in your business to, um, to put in your office or to help support your staff. And so it's really important that you understand that there are different GST requirements based on different things. One of the things that really catches out some of our clients is forgetting that if they're registered for GST and they go and sell a vehicle that's in the business or some furniture, that they need to charge GST on that as well. Now, if you're dealing with a car yard, that's nice and easy. They generally ask that question. But if you're selling a vehicle to somebody on the general public, they don't know, they don't even ask, they don't care if you're registered for GST or not. And so it's up to you to remember that if you are registered for GST, when you sell something, it's sold with GST on it so that you can make sure that you're getting the right amount of money for that item. Back when GST first came in, I had a client who um, worked, um, had a farm, and so they sold a tractor for $20,000. Now, the bad news was when it came to doing business activity statement, I told them they had to pay another $1,800 worth of GST on that tractor that they didn't account for because they didn't think that it was business income. Anything that the business owns, that the business sells, if it isn't exempt from GST, like that health and, and food type stuff, then it has to have GST on it. So there's a trick for you. Um, please make sure if you're selling anything in your business, make sure if, it, if you are registered for GST, make sure you're charging that GST on that item so that you know that you're getting X amount of money in the bank. So the the whole 20 grand in the bank, not the $18,000 that's just for you. Hopefully this tip helps you understand GST a little bit more and I will be sending through or recording some more GST videos in the near future as well. Thank you.